Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and today is Thanksgiving on the Blackstone Griddle. That's right, Thanksgiving on the Blackstone Griddle. We got a 30 pound turkey that we're gonna do on this thing. Roast it, carve it, everything. Just kidding, we're not gonna do all that. <laughs> we're gonna do some turkey. We're gonna do a turkey breast. We're gonna butterfly it, which we've already done. We're gonna pound it out thinly, then we're gonna chicken fry it. Chicken fried turkey on the Blackstone Griddle. We got some mashed potatoes. We didn't cook on the Blackstone Griddle. Cooked that in the house. Gonna do some gravy. Got some asparagus. And I got some sweet potatoes. Yeah, boy. Little sweet potatoes. We're gonna do some, a uh, little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of, uh, little cinnamon, a little sugar, a little honey drizzle, some pecans. Woo! Beautiful, it's gonna be beautiful. And then I say gravy, we're gonna finish it off with some gravy we're gonna make on the Blackstone Grill. So hey, appreciate you coming in. Hey, one, let's get this out of the way right here. Appreciate everybody. I do want everybody, we are so close to 100,000 subscribers. If you could do a favor for me, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave me a comment. Hey, I would love to see your comment. But yeah, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, please. We want to get to that 100,000 mark before the end of the year. Can we get it? Let's hope so. Hey, with that said, let's get to these ingredients, all right? All right, our ingredients. Here's our turkey breast. And in the house, what I did was, uh, this was on, on the bone. I actually had the butcher take it off the bone for me. I butterflied it, okay? And then I butterflied a little bit more, and then um, I pounded it. I pounded it thin. And then I just added a little bit of salt to this just to kind of let it brine a little bit, get a little bit more flavor. So I just kind of cut these up into manageable pieces, okay? And then we got, this is some egg wash here. Uh, and I took one egg and some milk, some salt, some pepper, and just kind of whisk that up, okay? Then I got some seasoned flour here, okay? The seasoned flour is just, I got all-purpose flour, I got some salt, about a half a teaspoon of salt, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of onion powder. And then I also took some, it's just called poultry season. It's got all kinds, it's got marjoram, it's got sage, it's got thyme, it's got rosemary. And I believe it said it had nutmeg in it as well, a little nutmeg. So I just put it in here, okay? And I just kind of moved that around, all right? So that's gonna be our dredge. We're we'll gonna put it in the milk and put it back in the dredge and we're gonna put it on the Blackstone. Hey, Maggie. All right, so got some oil over there, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, I put them in the microwave, okay? I put it on the, in the microwave, set it the microwave function to potato. I had two sweet potatoes, so I set it for two, okay? I set it for two, probably could have did a little less. I kind of overcooked them a little bit, but it's gonna be just fine. Um, so I got two sweet potatoes here. Got a little cinnamon brown sugar, it's gotten wet, it's raining today. And I got some pecans I'm gonna finish at the end. And I got a little bit of my buddy BJ and Kelly's honey right here from Berryfield Apiaries, okay? Out of Welcome, North Carolina. And I got some asparagus, just some lone asparagus really. But we're gonna, we're gonna church them up some, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna roast these, uh, sorry, sorry, saute these off on the Blackstone. A little bit of butter, a little salt and pepper, okay? And at the end, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this. This is some good balsamic vinegar. It's not thin at all, this is thick stuff. It's really good. Shout out to my buddy Joe F. up in Virginia. He gave this to me. He was on his way back from Myrtle Beach and I met him and he gave me that. So thanks, Joe. Uh, gravy, I got a little bit of chicken stock right here. I got a little bit of half and half. I got a little bit of flour, okay, to make a roux and butter and that is it y'all mashed potatoes are mashed potatoes just make the mashed potatoes however you see fit y'all all right all right hey that's a lot of ingredients but we're gonna get everything down on the black song and we're gonna have a thanksgiving feast here soon all right let's get it on all right hello blackstone Whew. she's ready she is ready I'll tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut this off i'm gonna cut this off just to, because i've it's a little hot right now, okay? You don't want to put anything on here right now because you'll scorch it and you'll burn it. And then you'll 
not be happy, okay? I want everybody to be happy, all right? So first things first, we're gonna get started with our, uh, we're gonna bread our turkey breast, okay? Here we got our turkey breast. So what we're gonna do first is, we're going to lay the turkey breast here first. We're just gonna try to, just kinda get some of this moisture off, okay? I'm gonna do that for all of them. Okay, just kind of do it like that. Some beautifully seasoned flour. There we go. All right, we got those nice, nice and dredged. Now, we want to take the pieces back. We're going to lay these. We cut the black stone back on. It's nice. It's still nice and warm, but we just won't want it really hot. All right. We'll come back over here. I'll lay our turkey breast right into our egg mixture. Okay. Both sides. Okay. Get some of that off. Lay it right back in to our flour mixture. And we just want to make sure we coat it really good. We're going to get some oil down. Let's get some oil down on a blackstone. Heavy amount of oil. Okay, my my blackstone. I got to uh, I got to try to even it out over here, but you know it's okay. Heavy amount of oil. Now we want to take this beautiful turkey breast, and then I'm just gonna lay it right here. See that little bit of sizzle? You want that little bit of sizzle? All right. You don't want it to go but you don't want it to just not do anything, okay? Take you a little bit more oil. Just kind of come in there like that, all right? Now, let's do these other pieces. These are smaller pieces. I may not have enough egg, I mean uh, flour, but we're gonna try. We should. I like using my tongs. Just so that I uh, don't get my hands dirty. All right, so we got we got our turkey down. All right, we're gonna let that cook. Okay, we're gonna have to we're have to put some oil down just here and there. Keep it keep it moist. Okay, vegetable oil and olive oil combination right there. This right here is avocado oil. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'll be right back. So. I think now let's get some let's get a gravy going. What y'all say? Gravy! Alright, a little gravy. Got a trusty little pot right there. Okay. A little trusty pot. And we're gonna get a little butter. A little butter. A little butter. Let's use this. So about a tablespoon of butter. We don't we're not making a whole lot of gravy. But you know. We want to make some gravy. We want to make sure we have an ample amount of gravy. Let's get this. All right, so we're going to get that going. How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Good. I don't know where my... Oh, there it is. Pigtail flipper. Ooh. That's looking good. Looking good. All right. So gravy, how are we gonna make the gravy? Uh, we've done gravy before on here, so just, you know, you want equal parts of fat, equal parts of, uh, of flour. I don't measure really, just, you know, I just kind of throw it in and go with it. Seems to work. But again, you see there we got our butters, our butters melting. We got some, uh, got a little all-purpose flour, all right? And you want to make a roux. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Yes, I am. Roux McClanahan. <laughs> My girl. Yes. So you kind of see how that is. You, don't, you want it a little tighter than that, all right? A little tighter. A little tighter. <laughs> Rue McClanahan. I got to say it every time. She's my girl. My golden girl. All right, a little bit more. 
a little more. You know what I forgot? I have forgotten salt and pepper. I'll be right back. Can't be forgetting my salt and pepper. All right, Rue. Rue, baby. Rue, baby, how you doing? Again, you just want to cook this about, once you get your roux kind of, kind of good, uh, you can get it tighter if you want. You can have it loose like this. The idea is to cook that raw flour out. And we got this chicken stock. I made some good chicken stock. Try to have it on hand. Um, nothing like it. And then you want to put your, put your chicken stock in there, okay? And then you want to whiz that around. You want to whiz it around until it gets thick again. Once it gets tight, not the consistency, look at this, it's gumming up. When it gums up, you say, what do I do, hussy? You add more liquid. You add more liquid. A little bit more liquid. And you whiz it around. Carefully, though. Okay? I'm going to whiz it around some more. Whiz, whiz. Whiz. You know what I'm going to do here, too? I'd like to have a little butter on my units right here. So I'm going to put a little butter down right there. Gives it a good little flavor. A little flavor. Okay, so our, our gravy. Let's add a little bit of half and half. You can do heavy whipping cream too. I'm not going to judge. This right here is just going to make it nice, creamy, delicious. Yummy. Mm. Need, some, need salt. A little salt. All right, the salt didn't have the salt didn't have this on it, but the pepper did. So, look at me. All right, let's see what we got now. Come on, y'all. There we go. A little bit of pepper. Alrighty. I'm going to tell you it needs more chicken stock. Alrighty. We need a checker. There we go. Good gravy right there. Good gravy. Alrighty. I'm going to put y'all right there. Gravy's good. Let it hang out. Let's check on our turkey. Woo-wee. Look at that. Would you look at that? That's beautiful. Nice and crispy. Let me see if you can play, you can play a dang country song on that thing. Bing, bada, bing, 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 bing. Alrighty. Let's get our... Uh, Asparagus. We'll get our asparagus down. There you go, asparagus. A little asparagus for our Thanksgiving feast. A little asparagus. A little butter. A little butter. Uh, a little salt. A little salt on you. Just a little salt. Okay. A little pepper. Oh, you pepper, you're working good now once I figure out how to use it. Uh, oh, no, oh, yeah. Hey. We got to get the, uh, I'm going to put the asparagus right here because we need to get some, uh, get these sweet potatoes down. A little sweet, a little sweet taters. A little sweet taters. Ouch. I just wanted it, you can use these, you can chop it up into cubes. You can do circles like this. This is what I decided to do. Just want to get a good crust on them. Again, I I put these on two on a on a two setting of the potato, and probably should have did like pulled it a little bit earlier, but it's okay. It's all right. All right, all right. We're gonna need a little bit more oil. We put a little oil on our chicken. This is not chicken. This is turkey, Matthew. Get a little bit of rain in too. 
a little rain. It's not going to stop us. Ain't no rain going to stop me now. Ain't nobody going to, no rain's going to hold me down. Oh no, I got to keep on cooking. <laughs> yeah, I'm corny. All right, our asparagus, looking good. Just hanging out, y'all. Hang out. Okay. The sweet potatoes are going to need some salt. Okay. Sweet potatoes benefit from pepper also. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of this seasoning. This is just about a half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, okay? And we're just gonna come in here on each one of these. And we're gonna do that right there. All righty. Our turkey's looking fantastic. Let's check the temperature. Check the temperature. We're at a hundred and well, we're gonna let this turkey go just to, I mean, it ain't, it's almost done, y'all. This turkey's almost done. We're gonna get our handy dandy tray, right, Cheer? We're gonna put our turkey right there. Let's see what our, oh yeah. Those sweet potatoes, the natural kind of sugars or caramelizations is already coming out. Hey, 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 come back here. Hey, come back here. Pretty. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then once we get these others down, look at that. Look at that caramelization. Old gravy right there. Woohoo! Beautiful. Alrighty. We're gonna take a little bit of this cinnamon sugar right here. We're gonna put it on the other side. Okay. It's gonna be lovely. I mean lovely. Asparagus. Cook your asparagus however you want. I like mine. I don't like mine cooked to death. Uh, I like it with a little bit of crunch, a little snap to it. But it's, I mean, it's whatever. A little bit more butter. Look, a little bit more butter on that. It's whatever your preference is. Don't matter to me. Do what you like. Do what's good for you and your family. This turkey, this turkey is done. Just gonna let it warm up on this side right here. Let's get our gravy is good. It does need a little bit more salt though. Okay. Our sweet potatoes they're already kind of parked. I mean, they're done, basically. You know, we put them in the microwave, right? They're they're done. We're just trying to get a good little crunch, a little crisp to them, and then we're gonna finish them off with a little bit of that honey and those pecans here soon. Um, this is done, gravy's done. We're about ready to plate this stuff up, y'all. These sweet potatoes are fantastic looking. My goodness, y'all. And I put this honey on them, honey child. It's gonna be something. All righty. Put you right there. Put you right there. All right. Y'all, I think it's ready to start plating some stuff. What do you think? All right, first things first, the turkey. Next, the asparagus. Put them over there. I'll add a little bit of this uh, 
it'll add a little bit of this balsamic vinegar to it, okay? Just a little bit. This stuff is like syrup. It's beautiful. And then when that when you put it on the black zone, it reduces even more and gets even this mm, even more beautiful. You can use some hollandaise sauce if you want. Whatever. Uh, you don't have to use any sauce. Um, so just do whatever. We're gonna do our little honey. Little honey drizzle over these sweet taters. It's gonna make a gooey mess on your black stone, but whatever. It's fine. Okay, there's that. We're gonna take a few of these pecans. And then what the black stone also does with this is it, it brings out those those oils and everything in the pecans. We're gonna do a little bit more of this cinnamon sugar. I kind of wanted to make sure everything was off of the black stone before I finished these sweet potatoes. Okay, let's organize our, I want to organize our asparagus, we might have company, okay? Okay, asparagus is down, black stone's off. Give it a try. Let's give one of these a try. <laughs> Woo, it's hot. Could use a little salt, and that's about it. All right. Now, let's plate up a few of these sweet potatoes. Now let's get these mashed taters. I will say I probably added a little bit too much milk to my mashed potatoes. They're a little, they could stand to be a little bit tighter. It's okay. It's all gonna eat the same. We got our gravy. Oh, gravy. Don't need this anymore, thank you. That's it. Blackstone Thanksgiving. Boom. It's a good looking plate over there, y'all. Need some stuffing. I could have probably done some of that too, but you know, I didn't. Um, maybe next time. Maybe I'll do a stuffing, you know, tutorial, video, whatever. But hey, let's give a sucker a try. What do you say? Woo! Boy, I feel so good. I feel so good. It's going to be right. Let's give us a try. Fork. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. First thing first. Turkey. I love turkey. And then fried turkey. Mmm. 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 So, the breading, the breading is off the hook. I taste that poultry seasoning right off the bat. And then um, I left that skin on. That's the, one of the reasons why I wanted to have a, uh, like a split breast so I could keep the skin on because I love the skin. Skin's flavor. That is so good. It's very moist. The breading has you know, great flavor. It's gonna be hard to top that, y'all. I'm gonna get a little bit of these sweet taters. With a pecan. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's real good. The honey with that cinnamon and sugar and that butter. You can use some brown sugar too if you want. Put that down. Just let it caramelize. Dang. Asparagus. I don't want the asparagus to go too much farther than that. So I almost overcooked these, but. Mmm. Asparagus is awesome, guys. The balsamic vinegar has a very rich, it's a sweet flavor. This right here has got some hickory, a hickory smoke. Get a little bit of that. Still got a crunch to it. So I'm a little satisfied with that. Mashed taters are mashed taters. 
The gravy. Mm. The gravy's good. The turkey. The turkey is what I love. And mm, that's phenomenal. That is phenomenal. Be right back. Uh, I about forgot something. I about forgot. I about forgot my chair wine. Oh man, guys. Well, y'all had to have a little something to drink. Have some good groceries right there. Hey, long video. I appreciate you hanging around till the end with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're still with me, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I appreciate it. But hey, give this a try. You don't have to do this on Thanksgiving. This could be done with chicken or whatever. But uh, this was a good meal. Very good meal. But y'all, that's it for me today. I sure appreciate you. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hey, until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out. Bye, y'all. Maggie girl. You've been a good girl. A piece of turkey? Yeah, good girl. <laughs>